Excuse my glasses. But look at my tongue. Can you see it? I can't see. I just left the eye doctor and my vision is blurry. So just want to show you my tongue. Every time I go to a dentist, I have a bad experience. Calling all excellent dentists, clean, knowledgeable, knowledgeable assistants, all that good stuff. I need help. Every time I go to a dentist, anyway, so I found, I moved to a new uh, state. I found a dentist to go to. And my first visit, I knew I didn't want to return. However, I, need a, I needed a procedure done on my tooth because I was leaving the country and I did not want to go um, with any issues. So I started the procedure, you know, and I was a new patient there and the doctor, um, the dentist came in and there was really no real greeting um, you know, just to speed this up, long story short, there was just no greeting, no how I felt, the problems I'm having. Um, anyway, so I got something done with my tooth and literally after he was done, he just left out. I'm thinking after he was done, I would have an opportunity since when he came in, I didn't have the opportunity. I thought after things were done i would have an opportunity sorry and i can't talk because of what happened to my tongue and we'll get to that i thought i would be able to talk to him after before he left out but i looked up he was gone no nothing no bye no that's it no okay so this is what i did nothing zero zilch and i knew from that moment on i did not want to go back because um even the dental hygienists, all of them, you know, and this is based off a few times going, he speaks to them as if, if they're not knowledgeable enough, like he's frustrated with them. And to me as well, they seem like they don't really know what they're doing. So maybe that's why he's always um, talking to them that way. But anyway, the office the tools and things like that. Everything, things were just were just not clean enough for me. Not I just felt I just didn't feel comfortable. Um, the front desk lady um, always has a nasty attitude. And anyway, so I had to go back. Um, it was a di a different assistant there. And a, sorry for the terminology and all that. Dental hygienist, I, I believe. Um, it's a lot I can say, but she used this like big metal scanner to scan my mouth. And first of all, it smelled horrible. And she was just clunking it around in my mouth. Every time she pulled it out, she would hit my tooth. I'm like, what the? It was it was painful. And I'm, I'm thinking she's going to break my teeth or one of my tooth. So anyway, that's that. Um, just one problem after another, no cleaning. Like she, one of them needed help one time, so they called in another assistant and to look for a tool. He, he's using his bare hands, handing her, like just not clean enough. I was just so disgusted. I couldn't, I dreaded going in every time. The lady at the front uh, has a nasty attitude when she calls, all that. I just dreaded going. And so finally my crown was re replaced and um, it just felt like a big rock on, a, on the side of, that was, you know, on the right side of my mouth. Uh, it was too big, too long, rough, and it was just horrible. And today he was just like, well, the machine, it just does this and does that and it makes, it tells you which size, whatever. Anyway. So today I dreaded going back to, to get the changes made, you know, to get it um, 
buffed and drilled down, all that stuff. I dreaded it. I just really did not want to go. I just felt like something was going to happen because the people just, no communication, no nothing, no, not a lot of experience. It seems like not knowing what they're doing. The dentist, no communication, no, no, just, I, it's like, I might as well be a mannequin. So anyway, today when I went, it was another new, this, I, the third, um, high dental hygienist that I've seen. And okay, I was feeling hopeful and things like that because she was communicative, communicative, talking, hey, how are you? Oh, this and how do you feel? And you know, giving me all and I had I haven't had any of that since I started going to this dentist. You know, informing me of certain things, like I felt comfortable. I started asking her questions. You know, I was like, oh wow. I was like, thank you so much for the communication because she was just going in like this, that, and that, giving me suggestions, just open floor, open Q and A. I felt like, wow. Anyway, the dentist came in and um, did whatever he had to do, and that was he communicated. I'm, that was the most he communicated with me since I had been. Going. I'm like, she must have rubbed off on him or something because he was actually telling me what's going on and what he did, which should be standard procedure. So anyway, um, after he did whatever he needed to do, he told her to finish up and buff my crown. So she gets to buffing and it, right away, I felt... As she was buffing, something fell off. And, okay, she she just sucked it out of my mouth and kept going. Next thing you, I know, the whole buffer thing blew up in my mouth. Like, it broke apart. And it was just blood. She cut my tongue. And I, actually, at the roof of my mouth, it's like a bruise as well. But, yeah, she cut my tongue i spit out the broken bit or whatever it was just like an explosion in my mouth i thought my i thought she knocked my tooth out so yeah cut my tongue and i just i dreaded going there today because i just didn't feel like the people there are very experienced and knowledgeable um I don't know. I just felt like my safety was at risk. And it was. And um, I'm never going back again. Now that my I wasn't going to go back after he completed the crown. And I was just hoping that I didn't have any issues. But even before he finished the crown, I knew that there was a problem. It just felt awful. So I knew I was going to have to go back. I dreaded this day. <sighs> and this is what happened. So, if you see this and you are a dentist, I need your help. I just want to get my work done, complete any work that I need done in my mouth. Uh, from a knowledgeable, educated, communicative, uh, am I saying that right? Anyway, um, knowledgeable staff. A staff that communicates well, that at least acts concerned. They weren't concerned at all. It's like, it's literally like I'm just like a test dummy walking into their office. That's what it feels like. So, if you're a dentist and you can help me, please comment. Please, please, I need help. Like, why did my tongue almost get split open today? When that piece broke off, why wouldn't she stop and reevaluate then? She just put it back in my mouth and exploded in my mouth. It was just like, you know how like something gets caught up in a big machine and it's like, <laughs> that's what happened. It was my tongue though. The thing blew up. It's like, oh my gosh, I was so traumatized. Like I just got up, up out of there and I will never return.